All right, what's going on, guys? Today I am bringing you another top 10, and for today's top 10, we're gonna be doing the top 10 most overpowered guns of all time. I made a top 10 overpowered things of all time video, and I excluded all guns from that video because I wanted to do them separately. You know, it's a whole new category. So that's what I'm bringing you here today. So yeah, I did upload two videos yesterday, so if you missed one of those, you can go check it out. I probably will be doing a supply drop opening tomorrow i don't know we'll see something like that i got a whole bunch of crypto keys and stuff so i'll get a supply drop opening out other than that that's pretty much all i really wanted to say let's get right into this top 10 man also just one final note i'm not including any weapon variants from advanced warfare just because you know those aren't the real base guns that were included in the game those are just kind of bonus or whatever so didn't want to include those since they don't have the actual stats the gun is supposed to have coming in at number 10 we got the famas from black ops one probably one of my most favorite guns of all time in call of duty but i can't deny man the thing was fucking good especially before they patched it even now till this day even after it's patched it's still amazing i am looking forward to black ops 1 coming out on the xbox one i don't know when that's gonna happen they said in december and you know we're already halfway through december and it hasn't come out yet so i don't know what the hold up is but hopefully it comes out here pretty soon i'm definitely playing some of that oh but yeah man the famas and black ops 1 the gun was really really good but but the thing is why I don't think it's like super crazy overpowered is it does what it's supposed to do you know what I'm saying it it's an assault rifle it kills people long range it doesn't have very much recoil but the thing that made it really good is it has a super fast fire rate and that really helped you a lot in more of the close range gunfights and that's why I think the gun was a little bit too strong because it would outgun pretty much almost all the SMGs up close just because of the fire rate so that's kind of what put it over the top a little bit anyways FAMAS at number 10 coming in at number nine we got the spaz 12 from mw2 one of the secondary shotguns in that game and that's the crazy thing it was a secondary right so the purpose of a secondary is you know you use your primary you got to reload or something you just switch weapons pull out your secondary and kill someone or whatever you need to do but this gun is a secondary competed with all the primaries in mw2 as one of the best guns it was probably better than a lot of the primaries in that game which is pretty crazy to think about crazy range on this thing now obviously it's still a shotgun so you know you're not going to be killing people across the map there was a shotgun in mw2 that you could do that which that'll be later on on this list but it still did have pretty insane range it could get people pretty far away but not like sniper range or anything like that but this gun was crazy man you saw so many like montages and stuff from mw2 with this gun just people getting feeds you know a gun's definitely overpowered when people spawn in switch to their secondary and run around with that instead of their primary coming in at number eight we got the m16 from Kyle for definitely the best assault rifle in that game if not the best overall gun in the game i'm trying to think out of all burst guns in every single call of duty which gun had the highest probability to one burst the m16 from cod 4 gotta be up there competing for the top spot for sure but the thing i have to consider is maybe it's just the hit detection from cod 4 even though that game's so old it still has some of the best hit detection out of any call of duty i'm not talking about connection i'm talking about the actual actual game itself like the hit detection whether your bullets actually register or not that game man there's something about it man they just they did it right it has better hit detection than some of the newer call of duties with all the new technology that we got even the new consoles and stuff yet they still can't replicate something from you know such a long time ago it's kind of crazy but yeah man the cod 4 m16 so many one bursts with this thing no recoil the time between bursts was good like overall just really solid gun and anyone that's played cod 4 they know about this m16 man coming in at number seven i got the fal from black ops 2 now originally i wasn't going to put this gun on this list because obviously the prerequisite to this gun being good is you have to have a really good trigger finger but then i remembered originally i didn't even use a trigger finger on this gun i just put on that fully auto select fire attachment and it was basically having a good trigger finger but then they patched that obviously if you try to do that today you put fully auto on it it has extra recoil and it's not as good and stuff it's it's pretty trash but originally they used to let you put fully auto on it and there was no punishment for doing so so it was so overpowered like it didn't require any skill at all because anyone could make it fully auto now obviously if you have a good trigger finger it's still overpowered but only for the people that have a good trigger finger so fal from bo2 especially before they patched it got banned from competitive and stuff that's how you know it was crazy good when they have to ban it from competitive that's when you know a gun's fucking overpowered man coming in at number six i have a tie between 
three different guns. They're all basically like the same gun, the same concept, and that's going to be the Akimbo FMG9s, the Akimbo Cap 40s, and the Akimbo L cars from Black Ops 3. Now, they're all the same principle, an Akimbo fully auto secondary pistol. I didn't know which one was truly like the best. I'm not really sure. I think maybe the FMG9s would be the best like close up, and then either the L cars or the Cap 40s have the most range. I don't know, man. It's really hard for me to just pick one of these three guns, but but obviously all three of them are overpowered. They're better than SMGs close up, which is definitely unacceptable. Secondary should never be better than primaries. That's the whole concept of them being a secondary. Also, I would like to throw in that the Cap 40 and the L car are both actually also pretty good with the single, and the FMG9 is actually pretty terrible with the single, so maybe that puts them to a head, but just for the purposes of this video, I'm including a Kimbo as part of the deal with this. So a Kimbo, I'd say they're all pretty much the same and they're all overpowered. Coming in at number five, we got the MP40 from World at War. This thing was fucking insane, man. You threw on some Juggernaut, extended mag, steady aim. You got 64 fucking bullets in your clip when you threw on extended mag on this gun, man. 64. That's like an LMG, except you got the speed of an SMG and you're just running around with extra health and you're just hip fire firing people dude this shit was fucking crazy man i don't even need to say anything else other than that that explanation i just gave you that's enough if you played world at war you know exactly what i'm talking about this thing was crazy man coming in at number four we got the ump from mw2 this gun was crazy man it had so much range for a smg and there was like no drop off in range no matter what you did like you didn't even have to run stopping power you could throw a suppressor on the gun all that and you're still mapping people like i'm talking really fucking mapping people like ar distance to almost even sniper distance with this gun and it was just like it was no problem man it was just nothing thankfully pretty much all the other guns in mw2 were also crazy good and some of them like even overpowered or else this gun would have like destroyed that game man even with all the other guns still being like insane this gun still stood out above all of them as being overpowered that's how you know the gun was fucking overpowered man because you could take some like the average guns from mw2 throw them in a different cod and they'd be like the best guns out there so the fact that the ump could stand apart from all the mw2 guns definitely tells you something about the gun coming in at number three we got the msbs from call of duty ghost man this might be one of the only guns that literally on the first day of release everyone instantly knew that this was the best gun in the game this was the most overpowered gun in the game it got banned from competitive instantly as soon as the game came out everyone was using this gun they passed patched it early into the game everyone knew the developers knew they're like damn we gotta fix this shit right it was just crazy man i think the very beginning of the msbs in call of duty ghost had the highest one burst potential out of any burst gun in all call of duties it literally only one burst so that's what it did it was so crazy it was crazy good hip firing as well like close up and long range the distance no recoil the rate of fire between bursts was quick man the gun was crazy but even to this day it's still like pretty good but it was nothing compared to what it was when the game first came out coming in at number two we got the acr from mw2 also mw3 now i want to talk about the mw2 one i think that's the stronger one that's the more overpowered one simply because i think it might be the only gun in the history of call of duty that actually has no recoil like you know we say oh this gun doesn't have recoil blah 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 but the mw2 acr actually has no fucking recoil man i can't think of another gun that literally actually has had no recoil that's actually crazy to think about you literally just ads shoot your gun and you don't even gotta worry about nothing it will go exactly where you're shooting and it will not move then the mw3 one came out it had a little bit of recoil and very very minor like it basically had no recoil but it does have a little bit but the mw2 man it can't be beat there was no recoil on this gun and that is just crazy to think about that is actually insane because i can't think of another gun where they actually made that mistake again coming in at the number one spot we got the akin Kimbo model 1887s from MW2. I'm pretty sure that these guns were actually a glitch, right? Like, I don't think they were meant to ever do that. Like, I'm pretty sure, like, they were fucking coding up the game and they accidentally, like, hit a wrong button and put the wrong number in for something on the range value or something. No one saw it. They didn't catch it. They put out the fucking game and these things turned into a fucking
fucking sniper. It was actually insane. Like, I'm not exaggerating when I say that. It was so bad that literally you think it was a glitch that they just didn't catch this error or something. That's how fucking bad it was. Like, you were literally killing people across the map. And I'm not exaggerating when I say across the map. But they did actually end up getting patched. So many people were, like, complaining about it. It was all over the place on YouTube and stuff. And even, like, back then, I didn't even know what the fuck YouTube was or nothing like that. And I knew about this shit, you know what I'm saying? I was just a random little fucking pub player, you know, chilling. I would play, like, once a week. And I knew about this shit. That's how widespread it was. So, that's how you know this shit was crazy. But anyways, man, that is it for my top 10. Be sure to leave your top 10 in the comments section down below. See how yours compares to mine. Also, leave me any top 10 suggestions that you may have for the future. That is it for the video, man. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to leave a like rating if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're not already. Follow me on Twitter. Links in the description down below. Other than that, have a good day and peace out. You got a secret. Like you victorious. I'm back on a Tuesday and fuck it feels glorious. I'm on the back beat. Sipping in the back seat. Listening to NSYNC. No, not Backstreet.